my first surgery ever. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Look at this. We have to move Airbnbs. <laughs> the highs of Kai, y'all. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it feels so weird starting <laughs> starting a video like this oh i'm recovering from a concussion i'm concussed i need help no matter what life is just gonna happen so i need to just 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 do it it's 2024 oh my gosh i wanted to do a new year vlog i wanted to do a christmas vlog a freaking 2024 new life new me new days new goals new life my style i have it but then life happened. But the good thing is that it's getting better. But I am a firm believer that, you know, when things start happening, life just, life just starts throwing things at you. I feel like it's just confirmation that life is about to turn around. Very hopeful. I wanted to vlog my experience with the surgery. I'm getting a laparoscopy done. So that being said, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Addie Metal if you are new here. And yeah. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Hey guys, what's up? I'm a little late to my appointment, but I'm going to get my very first laser hair removal session. Brazilian. Um, and I'm going to get a massage because my surgery is in two days. I'm headed to get my massaggio. I'm a little, little late. late. I don't even know the name of this freaking place. I literally just found it yesterday. Oh my gosh, I hope, I hope they still take me. Take I have a headache too. I was supposed to be there 15 minutes early to do the paperwork, but... I hope massages don't make Thank sense. Hi, um, I'm calling because I'm gonna be a little late to my appointment. I just want to make sure that I'll still be okay to come in and make it. It's just depending on how late you are, um, we have some paperwork to fill out for you. It says my ETA is 405. Yes. I just want to be prepared for my surgery. I feel like the massage will really help that. I'm not gonna let them massage where they're gonna do the surgery. I haven't been feeling the best. I've been having some abdomen pain today. My head's been pounding. I just, it's just not, it's just not it. But I am excited to get this massage. It'll calm me down because I'm really nervous. I hate speaking that like into existence that I'm nervous for my appointment, my surgery, but I mean, first surgery ever it's not even like a huge huge major surgery but there are complications that could go wrong I'm believing by faith that everything is gonna work out and it's gonna work out just fine the Sun is literally right in the wind dude the Sun dude why my dad and his um, fiance are gonna fly down on Friday the day of my surgery I'm excited that they're coming down I mean this is like not even typical my family never comes to see me so this is like I mean they've come down like maybe once it's like months and months before I see family again it just sucks sometimes because I don't get to see them ever I'm excited to see their faces JR is always coming down and helping and supporting with things so I have my massage right now and then after the massage I have my first ever laser hair removal session. It's expensive y'all. What the hell? Why is it so damn expensive? I feel like it shouldn't be that expensive. I don't know if it's just because I'm in Colorado. Colorado. Like, like I don't know. I hate ingrown hairs and I'm tired of waxing myself. That shit hurts. It hurts. hurts. I like to be hairless. I'm gonna put my code down below so if you guys do want to try Milan, you can try it for half off of your first session, I believe it is. Look who made it in. I made it in. Okay, bye. I look a little crazy, I know, but it's the night before surgery. We are in the Airbnb. It's really cute. We got everything in the house. We brought a bunch of <laughs> snacks gonna be here for like six seven days so yeah got a lot of fruit got some asparagus got some salmon because i love salmon gatorade for recovery up there yeah so i'm really excited um a little nervous a little excited i got my little cute little coloring book here my adult coloring books surgery is scheduled for six in the morning 
I'll be up at like five in the morning. I have to get hooked up and everything and then JR can come back and spend some time before I go completely under. I got my pregnancy pillow here. I brought my blanket. Oh my god. Hey. I cannot. But this is why I need him here because like he just makes me laugh. He brings me back to He's thick, boy. my Damn, boy. He's thick. Boy, That's a thick ass boy. Damn. I got my um my snacks right here. I got my heat warmer over there. I'm ready y'all. I'm ready. After my shower, I have to wipe down with me. I can't put on any lotion. I can't eat anymore. I literally can only have water for the next like eight hours. I can only have like eight ounces of it. So it's like. guys so obviously I look crazy got out of surgery dope but <laughs> they came and talk. doped up on anesthesia hydrocodones I'm so bloated I'm super nauseous right now kind of got some bad news but there are things that can be fixed I mean it's just uh, it's a nightmare in the morning. I forgot to wake up to take my pain meds. So I'm gonna take them now. I feel a bit more pain day two. The anesthesia wore off. So I'm gonna have this and then probably go back to bed. I'm just eating it so I can take my pills. Okay. Hey guys. Ooh, I'm actually walking on my own. It's day two. I'm actually walking on my own. Society, she's having a little bit of trouble. How I'm like, I'm gonna give a house tour and I can barely even walk. Can you walk? Uh, Back in bed, been eating really good. I got my mixed nuts here. Of course I got my, got my Walta. I'm finding that I'm having like new pains. It's like hurting. It just started hurting literally a moment ago. I just used the restroom peeing a lot because I've been drinking a lot of water, hydrating. But my freaking I don't know, maybe the local anesthesia is wearing off. Everything's kind of wearing off right now. The hydrocodones, I feel like my body's getting used to them because, or what is it? Codone? Hydrocodone? I mean, not getting used to them because every single take, every single take I take, take time, take, I can't talk anymore, y'all. Every time I take them, I'm like, uh, highs, okay, y'all, highs, okay. But it's fine, it's all good. Mm -hmm. There's like, Pullage it hurts like pullage in certain areas. It just like happens off and on. Like I move a certain way, I can't twist, I can't bend right now. JR has been a freaking angel sent from God. He's been so helpful, so incredible. Just waking up when I wake up, going to sleep when I go to sleep. I'm like a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna rest up a bit more. I just want my energy back and Feel good again. I just can't believe my fallopian tubes are blocked. Or one of them, I don't even know the full facts on that. I'm gonna have to see in a few weeks. But sounding like I'm probably gonna have to go back under for them to remove what's blocking my fallopian tubes. Which is, I guess, why I've been in so much pain too, they said. It's like, that, you know, that's what's causing the pain. I don't know. I know it's probably another procedure. And I'm just, I just wanna not be in pain, like on and off of my cycle. <sighs> so, anyway. Done. Oh. 
We have a weird relationship, guys. No, we don't. We have a perfectly normal relationship. <laughs> hey. Why do you sound like John Wick? Yeah. <laughs> that was bad. Let me try again. Yeah. Yeah. It's too raspy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> can't take a sh when you get surgery and you're on medicine and you can't take a poop it's a big problem my body feels backed up my stomach feels backed up i don't know what to do about it i need a poop i just need a poop i just need a poop it's day four and we have to move airbnbs <laughs> only booked this airbnb for i don't remember because <laughs> i've been on Cody. We've been here a few days, okay? I don't wanna know, day four, five days, five days. I don't know. We have to move Airbnbs tomorrow, but instead we went ahead and extended it for today so we don't have to wake up early, leave here by 10 o'clock. We can just check in anytime tonight. So, yeah, I'm just trying to clean up the kitchen just a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm still in some pain. I'm able to move around a lot more, which is really nice, but I still have like that abdomen pain that I can't even explain. It's like a like sharp pain yesterday. I got so nauseous and I had to get in the bed and I could literally not get out of bed. And it was day three. I'm on day four and ooh, I just realized I don't have eyebrows. I'm looking crazy, y'all. I didn't came on camera looking not too comfortable. We haven't been in this house for 24 hours and JR's already made a giant mess in the kitchen. You already broke an entire bottle. <laughs> I went to open the fridge and it fell, bounced on the stove, busted, and spilled all the way over there. So we got teamwork going on here. I was gonna put him in, uh, foot, foot, excuse me. Bedtime. Stop, I'm trying to film. <laughs> Stop, I'm trying to film. <laughs> And we've been up for a little bit, um, not gonna lie. Just kind of like been hanging out on our phones, relaxing, and chilling. Anyway, we took a nap. Amazon packages came in. <laughs> I ordered Amazon at our Airbnb. I don't know if that's even allowed, but. <laughs> what, are, what, are they, what are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? What's, gonna, what's it gonna do? I ran out of face exfoliate. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Paul's Choice. If you have like dark spots on your face, pimples that come every month, like PCOS, any like thing that causes like flare-ups, pimples, things like that, this stuff helps. Paul's Choice exfoliant found that this uh, lightweight uh, moisturizer helps as well. Like I looked up this dermatologist and she said this is really good. As you can see, I do have some dark scars, dark marks here from the pimples that kind of came in, but they're going away thanks to this stuff. I was going to stir up some chicken because I'm really hungry. I'm a little hungry again. So I'm going to go fear up some... <laughs> I'm going to go fear up some chicken. We're gonna have some mashed potatoes and some chicken mashed potatoes and a Caesar salad, so. As far as my abdomen pain goes, I have still been having some abdomen pain. Like I said earlier, I think it's because my cycle's coming. Uh, I'm trying to stop taking the codeine to the kitchen.
yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I already got you over. Yeah, how tall are you? I was like 6'5". You're not that tall. <laughs> You're not that tall. talking to me from downstairs in the restroom. I'm taking a poop. I feel a little bit more like myself. I was in some pain last night. I think I'm cramping because my cycle is coming up. I just had surgery, I'm already ovulating, and my period's coming, so. <laughs> <sighs> life is life. Can you do me a favor? Can you bring me my, uh... No. <laughs> Look at this really pretty like sky window. This is so cute, especially cause like at night you can really see the stars. It's so cute. I am literally staining my camera up on a laundry detergent and a glass. <laughs> Look at this setup. So this is our last night in the Airbnb and um, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> I miss living in a house. I had this crazy idea that I would vlog Airbnb all around Colorado Springs. Like, I don't know if I might actually do that, but like. <laughs> I feel like I really want to explore Colorado, so like, I feel like there's like no better time than now to do that. In the future, I'm probably gonna be doing more vlogs. I'm probably gonna Airbnb around Colorado. I really wanna go to Denver. I wanna have like a nice weekend up there. You know, just explore Colorado while, while I live here. It's been over six months now, seven months. In July, it'll be a year. I'm excited to just see Colorado more now that I'm like more established, more like used to being here. I'm excited for that in the future. I saw this video on Instagram of this girl making, okay, see, I've done this before. It's just been a long time, but it got me in the mood again. So we're gonna make burgers. We're gonna make Hawaiian, Hawaiian street wars. <laughs> get the sliders out of the oven. It's gonna take about like what a minute. Oh my god, I feel like it's such a like I feel like a cooker again. I, I miss, miss cooking. cooking. You, don't, you understand. don't understand. If you join the military and you had your own place before joining <laughs> and you ain't got and no dependent <laughs> and you ain't married. <laughs> yeah, sucks. But that's my opinion, not that of the military, just disclosure. <laughs> Look at these sliders. Oh they have My name is JR. Hi. How are you doing? Uh -huh. So, I just got out of the shower. I was just getting out of the shower and I realized I haven't talked very much more about why I got the surgery. I feel like I gotta stop talking about the surgery after like day four. It's probably day four. I feel like after the surgery, I'm so out of it. I feel like I need to fill you guys a little bit more in on why I got the surgery um, and kind of my process. Um, up until now, I feel about 86, 87% there. Not 100 yet. It's officially day seven. It's like two weeks of full recovery from laparoscopy. Laparoscopy. 
Lapis, Gabi, Lapis. This is pretty normal, I'm not fully there yet. Honestly, I'm not gonna say 86, I'm probably like 80% there now. I think I'm looking at having to get another surgery, which really sucks, because I didn't even want to get this surgery. I mean, I'm glad I got it done because I found out my fallopian tubes are blocked, so that's a big issue. Originally, I was getting the surgery because I was having so, 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 so much pain, um, abdomen pain. Um, on and off my cycles. GYN recommended I get the surgery because they thought that I had endometriosis, which I do have a little bit. He didn't specify how much, um, and I guess it wasn't enough to remove. So I don't understand why we didn't really get to talk too much after the surgery, especially because I was so out of it. Okay, we're going downstairs because it is way too hot in that bathroom. <laughs> it is way too hot in that bathroom and I should, cause I just took a shower. It's so steamy and I'm gonna, yeah. If you're getting a laparoscopy soon, I still don't know how to say it. Um, the surgery was not as bad as I thought it would be. There's just some slight cramping afterwards. I feel a lot better. I've been taking my, as long as you take your medicine on the hour, <laughs> take the medicine, you'll be fine with that. But if you're getting one soon, just know it's not as bad as you think. It's not as scary as you think. I was terrified going in because I don't like going under. I really trusted my surgeon. He was great. He was very informative. He kept me in the know. He kept me in the now. And I love that. I love knowing exactly what's happening with me. What are you gonna do? What, what's happening? He just gave it to me straight. I really appreciated that. They really took care of me uh, right before the surgery. They asked any questions, made sure I knew everything that was happening. They double checked everything. And it went very super smooth. It went, it went, <laughs> And it went super smooth. I don't remember half of it, so. <laughs> I will say though, like it sucked to pee. Like I had to have JR pick me up and hold me the whole time. Like he had to like hold me to help me sit down for at least the first three days. It's, it sounds like a long time, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. That sounds really terrifying. Cause like when I was watching these videos and everybody was like, oh yeah, three, four days, you won't be able to do anything. I'm like, it's really not that bad. It's, it's not as bad as you think. It's not as scary as you think. I did some research before this, so I asked for my doctor to prescribe me some stool softeners. I would recommend highly if you're doing this surgery. And it's kind of scary because you feel backed up, you know, and then you're bloated at the same time. You have air in your body. That was probably the worst part was having the air in my body. I would eat like three strawberries and like a few blueberries and some grapes and I'd be full as sh I could not move. And then of course you have the incision in your belly button. So the fuller you get, the more it's like putting strain on that incision and so yeah I am just now getting comfortable laying on my right side I can't lay on my left side for some reason it's just like some pain still there just heads up on that but yeah this is pretty much the surgery you get if you think you have endometriosis and it's really important to get because you need to know what's going on in there especially if you're in pain outside of your cycle endometriosis is like it's like the root of evil because it's like even if you get it removed it can grow back after like two years two to five years it was important for me specifically to get this because i know i want kids soon i want kids in the next two years or so and i wanted to make sure i'm good down there at least now i know what's going on with my body it does suck that my tubes are blocked right now i did some research and a lot of women have been told that as well and they were able to get pregnant so it's still a possibility there but it's still a little scary i'm still taking that part in but I know it's gonna be okay. It's gonna work out. Jared left a towel outside and we need to know if oh. it's crackable. It's not, it's not crackable? Oh, that sucks. You see that? That's a call for war. That is a war action. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Down, 
the weapon on the ground. Hands in the air. Spread your feet. <laughs> Feel. Oh, what the heck? That's so weird. That's what I was trying to show you. It feels cool. But it's, yeah, we'll throw it. Oh, or something. Make it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Snowball fun. Oh, did I miss it? <laughs> I didn't see it with my eyes. I don't know if the camera got it, but. <laughs> Cold. This is crazy. You're gonna turn the hot tub on? Try to get all the snow off of it. <laughs> no. Look at the inches. <laughs> Try to make sure it's good. <laughs> well, hey you guys. You guessed it. Um, I took a nap. <laughs> I was exhausted. I was tired. And I have to go ahead and get everything packed up because we leave. We check out of here at 10 a.m. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because what else is there to vlog? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the love and support, even though I have not been posting. It just hasn't been very much like vloggable, filmable content going on. But I do appreciate the love. I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And as always, stay metal. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay guys, so this is the end of the vlog. I just wanted to go ahead and end it. We are leaving. We are heading out of the Airbnb. It's been nice. It's been fun. I don't know if I like Airbnbs better or hotels. Look at this. You're snowed in. This is crazy. Good thing we got four by four. Am I right? Am I right? Okay.